Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys and if you thought that maybe the international break was going to be boring, if you thought maybe nothing was going to happen during this time, well actually that is not the case at all because once again today there is plenty happening on the Barca front. We're going to be going through some transfer news covering the likes there of Franck Kessier, also Nicolas Sule and Erling Haaland is once again on our agenda with another big big question because we are are going to have today in this video big news on our wage cap for next season it's all happening so let's get to it but I do want to start, first of all, by just covering here this big breaking story on Cesar Aspilicueta, because if reports are to be believed there, the Chelsea and Spanish international is going to become a new Barcelona player this summer. Of course, Aspilicueta is going to be available on a free transfer come the summer. His contract at Chelsea is expiring. And according to the latest reports, Barca are very confident there. And some even say the deal is closed, that Aspilicueta will sign for particular potentially two years with the option of a third. Now, Aspilicueta, of course, is 32 years old right now. He will be 33 come the summer. And I can understand why maybe some people are a bit sceptical, you know, signing a bit of an older player, a veteran, if you like, of course, given everything that we've said in recent times. But I do just want to make it clear here on this one, guys, that there are still players out there who can be over the age of 30, who can be there the wrong side of 30, and still play, though, at a very high level. You look at this season with Aspilicueta, he still played the majority of games in the Premier League for Chelsea and they're very, very good defensively and he's been a very big part of that. He's also featured in every Champions League game for them this season and it's not only about Chelsea either. We've seen him perform very well in the Premier League but also he still remains in Luis Enrique's Spanish national side. So Aspilicueta is still playing a big, big part for club and for country and I think what this deal would do, it would bring real experience here to a young Barcelona team but I think more than that, I think I think you would bring leadership. And I think leadership is something that even though we have older players, even though we have experienced players, I think we really do lack natural leaders. Somebody there both on and off the field to lead the team. And I think above all else, what you have to say with Aspilicueta is he's a very good defender. He can be used as cover there in a number of different positions. And he's reportedly going to sign as well on very manageable wages. There's plenty of positives and plenty of good things here that will come with this deal. And it's one that apparently will happen. Then of course though, there is the matter of Franck Kessier because yesterday in the media this was a name that came out of nowhere, it really really did when it comes to Barca because all of a sudden we are being heavily linked there to the Ivorian midfielder currently playing his football of course at AC Milan. Now this is another one of those situations whereby at the end of the season he is going to be available on a free transfer and of course now given that he's in the final months of that deal, he is eligible to sign a pre-contract agreement with another club ahead of the summer. Now it's interesting right now because there are contrasting reports on exactly how close Barca are to signing Kessier. Some people are saying that Barca actually have a verbal agreement there between the club and the player which would reportedly see Kessier earn a salary of 8 million euros per year which would equate there to around 150,000 euros a week. That contract reportedly would be until 2027 but when you think of those wages what you of course have to factor in is the fact that Kessier here would be joining for no transfer fee and that is a really crucial part of this because right now you're looking at him he's 25 years old and if you were signing a player like this not on a free transfer if his contract wasn't expiring honestly that's a 50 million euro player. That is a serious, serious player that you would have on your hands. You only need to look at AC Milan. They paid over 30 million to Atalanta for Kessier a number of years ago. And he's improved a lot since that time. So Barca are really looking here to do a good financial deal as well for the club. But like I say, there are contrasting views on exactly how close we are. Others say that maybe only initial talks have taken place with Kessier. That maybe he's only one of a few midfield profiles that Barca are looking at. Because we've also heard Barca being very heavily linked with Denis Zakaria, who's going to be leaving Borussia Mönchengladbach this summer also on a free transfer. There's so many players this summer who are going to be leaving on freeze, something that we know only too well, of course. And I think what is really, really interesting about this is the profile of Frank Kessier, because actually there, it's something very different that we'd be adding to our midfield. A different kind of presence in there, a different kind of profile. He can play in a deeper midfield role. He can also be used there as a central
central box-to-box -box midfielder. And I think he would bring a lot of things that maybe we are lacking in that defensive midfield area right now. Somebody who is strong, who is athletic, energetic. He's got a lot of things that we lack in transition, defending there against counter-attacks. Somebody who can cover space very, very well. And I do think this is a very, very interesting player to keep an eye on, to certainly see how these rumours progress. But also interesting to see that the club are actively looking for this kind of player, which makes you wonder, what have they got planned next season in midfield? Then, though, we do move on to Nicolas Soule, because indeed, on the subject of free transfers, potentially... There's one more coming up because Sule this summer will not be staying at Bayern Munich. He has rejected their latest contract renewal offer and he'll be leaving the club as a result as a free agent this summer. With Barca said to be very, very interested in Sule. It's a situation they've been tracking now for some time, according to reports, and they are following him very, very closely. And it is a very interesting link because right now you look at him, he's 26 years old, you know, a Bayern Munich player, a German international as well. He's six foot five inches tall as a Centre back, but what I would say about that is he is deceptively quick. I see a lot of people, you know, on social media saying we don't want Sula because he's slow. He's a big centre back. He's very, very slow. But actually, that is not the case at all. He has actually clocked some of the highest speeds in the Bundesliga, and he is no slouch at all when it comes to pace. And the reassuring part for me when you're looking at bringing in a player who's been playing at Bayern is that you know what? You know the kind of level they will have had to have shown over the past few seasons. Sula has been a big part of their defence. You know the kind of standards that Bayern are going to set for every single player in terms of mentality, in terms of training, preparation, but also what you know is that a player like Sula, if he was to come in, he would be very, very experienced there in defending with a very high line. He would know all about their defending space in behind, something that is so, so important for any player coming into Barca. And of course, what you would know as well is that he can play with the ball, he can bring the ball out, he can carry it. And certainly for me, again, it's a player to keep an eye on. He'd be available on that free transfer, which would be so, so attractive for a club. Somebody of that quality coming in for absolutely nothing. Barca, of course, are not alone in their interest in him. But as you can see right here, this is the Champions League final in 2015 in Berlin. Sule supporting Barca. But, of course, guys, what we do have to come on to now is the topic, once again, of Erling Haaland. Because as we spoke about just a few days ago, when we were talking there about rebuilding the squad and especially focusing on that core of the team that needs renewing, I was asking you, what should we do? Should we go out and pay the huge money that it would take to sign Erling Haaland, give us those goals, give us that star quality up front that we do need, or... Do you focus on the core of the team instead? But now, I come here today with a different question. Because what if this summer, there was a way to do both? Because with what we're seeing right now in terms of free agents being linked to Barca, bringing in a lot of different players and different types of players on a free transfer, we've heard Masraoui at right back. We've heard now Aspilicueta, potentially Sule. We've also heard links to the likes of Christensen as well at Chelsea, Kessier, Zakaria, all of these kinds of players. What is very, very clear is that Barca are looking to bolster their squad in many different areas without paying any transfer fees, which of course is important financially, but these players too would massively help our squad. And what of course that would mean is that you're saving money. You are saving all of that budget that we know is going to be pretty sizable this summer. We've also got record-breaking sponsorship shirt deal that is going to be happening with Spotify, with also Polkadot, who is going to be the secondary sponsor as well for the shirts. And what you are seeing here is Barca building up for something very, very big. But I would also add something else to that too that certainly needs to be highlighted because as we've heard in the media, Barca struggling to register players, Barca struggling with their wage bill, all of this kind of stuff. The media would have you believe that Barca had no money, will have no money and will never ever improve. But actually, what Laporta did, along with those close around him, of course, at the start of this season, is that when they came into office, they saw the mess, the sheer mess that Bartomeu had left behind financially. They knew that the club was in crisis. So what they did, they put every single one of those losses, everything they could, into this season. They said, you know what? It is a mess. It's complete and utter chaos. 
But it's all in this season. So Barca suffered massive losses at the end of last year. La Liga, as a result there, had to change our wage cap right the way down to 98 million euros. That was our salary cap for this season because of the losses that we'd incurred. But what I feel Laporta did there was basically rip the band-aid off. He didn't want to spread those losses across many seasons. He didn't want to there be plagued by Bartomeu's bad decisions and all of those financial problems for a long period of time. So he said, you know what? I'm going to write off this season. We are going to put everything in there now and then come next summer, we'll go again. We will have some freedom again and we will be able to spend money again come the next summer. And this is the interesting and crucial part ahead of that summer. Because from next season, Barca reportedly expect our new wage cap to be around 400 million euros. Now, what that means is it's four times what it is this season. That's the kind of room and that's the kind of freedom that we will have to play with going into the summer. So we won't have any issues in registering players. We won't need to make a signing and then worry later about whether we can actually get them registered because next season, after we put in all those losses, after we've come through that now, we can start fresh. We can go again. And that's why this summer, it is all to play for and Barca are striving to be back. So indeed, guys, like I say, there is plenty going on right now. There is plenty to be optimistic and certainly excited about ahead of the summer transfer window. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about all the players that we have discussed today. What do you think there about that Aspelacueta deal? Franck Kessier, would you like to see him arrive at Barca? Nicolas Sula, and also, of course, the question there about Erling Haaland. Do you believe that it's possible to do both? Can we strengthen the core? Can we bring in players to improve our team and... Pay the big money for the big man. Let me know all that down below. I will see you soon, of course, because there is going to be more news and hopefully more excitement. Thank you, as always, for your support. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Pasha. Uh -huh.